something we can do, start vibrating and uh, clean the blade eh, like this, make sure all the stone stays inside the bowl, the vibrator. I don't have to go on very high, I can do a second or, third or second speed, first or second. See, that's way too much, it's unnecessary. If you have to vibrate as much as this, it means the stone is already setting, it's better to start over. Huh? This is the consistency we have, eh? which is very nice, very creamy. It means we really respected the, the ratio. So I use the side of the corner there, or the vibrator, uh, for the stone to flow. And we're going to play with the angulation of the impression there. A little faster, or a little slower. I'll go back like this. I want to accelerate, you see, and I'm, I, can, I can change it and I can modify and compensate there and control the speed of the flow of the stone. That's very nice, it goes along. Huh? I don't need other spatula, I don't need to touch the silicone, just changing the angulation with the right consistency and the right amount of weighting agent. We are good there. A little more stone, a little more weight. Yeah, I, I put pressure on my hand just to vibrate a little more maybe. That's nice. And you see the two, so those two parts of silicone, they are not supported by the tray. What I should have done is maybe cut it. Uh, cut those two parts because if I vibrate it from here, I might, I might distort it a little bit. I might remove, I might un unglue the silicone from the tray. And maybe some stone is going to go in between. And then what we have is a distortion. And you see, you see how much we can bend that tooth there? There's a tooth there. So then when we mount the models, uh, we might be high in occlusion. So I want to put the vibration on the tray and not on that tooth there. I'm going to add a little bit more stone just to go a little faster now. What I'd like to do now is to rinse the whole impression and this is how I do. I have to go fast obviously and the stone is setting so I take a paper towel and I want to empty everything as much as I can. I can, I, I can put a little more vibration. And I do this because I rinse every little bit of uh, wetting agent, of debilizer. The stone mixed with debilizer makes a very weak stone. It's very hard to remove everything. So what I'm going to do is go on, the, on top of the sink and shake it. Turn it like this, I hold the handle up very well, and I shake it. And what we should see, it's a thin coat. Look at the preparation, let's focus on those. And we can see that thin coat of stone, and that's perfect. That's exactly what I want. So now, the stone is setting, we have time. We're not going to panic, but we feed it again, very slowly. I put some good pressure on it with my hand there, my left hand. And we look at the preparation, we don't want to catch an air bubble. And we want to do fast without panicking. Number seven, the ladder out there, very slowly, we don't want to catch a bubble. I'm going to add a little more stone in order to have more weight. What I'm going to do is stop the vibrator, we don't need it anymore. I'm going to use a little spatula in order to, uh, like I uh, explained earlier, we don't want to put pressure on those parts, so we don't put the impression like this on the, on the surface of the bench. We are going to use a little spatula just to support it. So we're going to put pressure on those areas. And we're going to add stone. We want to make the, the impression a little thicker and the model a little thicker in order to trim it to the right thickness. I don't want to catch any bubble there either. I like to put stone in my hand there. Huh? 
I'm right-handed, so I take exactly what I like, and I put it like this, and I increase the thickness. Okay, we can just leave it like this for an hour and a half, um, not less than an hour. Huh? I think the manual says, um, in some stone, the manual says 45 minutes, but I like it to leave an hour and a half. And a half. Uh, if it was an alginate impression, we would have to separate it after uh, 60 minutes, not more. Uh, when we leave it overnight, the problem is um, the alginate gets very dry, and it gets very difficult to separate, and we might even wear the stone. So here I could leave it like this, or what I could do is turn it. Uh, some people turn it, or some people just leave it like this. So the consistency is, um, is very limited there, so what I'm going to do is wait a second. It's a little bit early to turn it. So what I'm going to do, we have a f just maybe 20 seconds. We can just take advantage of it and clean up the board and clean up the area. So you see, I take as much as I can from the board inside a paper tower, uh, just to um, avoid rinsing everything in the sink. And then what we have is we have to call the plumber uh, uh, once a month. So I can just clean up as much as I can. There. The instruments are first. So what we do, we take some paper tower, just a coat, and I take some cold water. And I want a damp paper tower. The goal of it is to um, avoid feeding the stone with water. So we don't want it dry either, because what would happen is we would distort the impression, we would absorb the moisture of the stone. And I'll check last time. Oh, we don't want the impression, the, the, the impression to collapse. It's just right there. You know, it's right. It's perfect. You see, it's not going to collapse. And I don't have to put any pressure on it to turn it over. And as you see, I can even, if I want to, I take a little bit of stone there. And make sure I have the last tooth. I can add some. And with my, my left hand, I hold the tray. Make sure it doesn't move. Huh? Right there. That's all. And we leave it like this for um, an hour and a half. We're going to use water to break the seal. It's been uh, a little over an hour, I think. Yeah? It's been a little uh, over an hour, so we're going to separate. I'm going to use water to, so to break the seal and a little knife. So I don't want to put it uh, from the hand handle uh, only. I want to go, I'm only going to try to go a little bit from each side, a little bit from here, see I can put water. But now, very often, you know, we might break the preparation or I break a tooth. So I have to go from the back, like this with the knife, do the same thing the other side. And I add, I go back to the water. And we can see here, eh, we have a nice, nice, nice uh, defined margins everywhere, and we have no bubble anywhere. So we can dry it. We don't like to leave the stone wet like this. We can dry it, and uh, we can start working on it.